Hey, what's up? I am Michelle B. This is Channel Notes, a channel dedicated to helping you do YouTube authentically. And in this video, I want to talk about how you can spring clean your channel. It's around the middle of the year, which is a time that I like to think of as my second New Year's. It's a time to step back, refresh your life, and refresh your YouTube channel. So for this video, I'm actually going to be spring cleaning my own channel so you can see sort of what I'm talking about rather than me just talking at you. God knows that Channel Notes needs a good spring cleaning. It needs some love. Before I get started, this video is actually sponsored by Filmora. They're giving away one free trip to Anaheim, California's VidCon 2018 to one extremely lucky YouTube creator, and that includes accommodation, airfares, and your ticket. VidCon is one of the biggest online video conferences in the world. There will be over 30,000 creators fans, some of the biggest YouTubers in the world will be there. To enter the competition, it's really easy. From now until June 12th, you just need to make a short one minute video answering one of the three questions around your unicorn moment. A unicorn moment is basically when you come up with an amazing idea or a creative solution, or just make something really cool that you can't help but be impressed with yourself. Every valid entry also gets you a one year Filmora video editor and video effects subscription, which is $140 value, so totally worth the effort. So click on the video link in the description below for more details. Now let's get into some of the good stuff about how to spring clean your YouTube channel. The first thing that you can do is revisit your branding. So before I get into this, I wanna show you a quick photo of the first version of my branding on Michelle B. This is Michelle B now. So I hope that that emphasizes to you the importance of occasionally revisiting your branding. So I actually love the aesthetics on Channel Notes. I've redesigned my branding before and this is kind of like the newer version of Channel Notes. However, I did realize that with my banner, I wasn't really targeting the people that I wanted to target. Also, the text on it is quite difficult to read and there's a lot of it. So I decided to create a little one-liner that really got specific about who this channel was for. Your channel banner is one of the first things that people see when they head onto your YouTube page. So make it really clear who exactly you're targeting. The second part of spring cleaning is revisiting your channel trailer. So for me, I have left my channel trailer on channel notes stagnant for like two, three years. So it's very much time for a new channel trailer. Right now, my trailer is very heavily directed towards people who want to start a YouTube channel, who are still in that like dreaming phase. I actually want to move it towards people who have started a YouTube channel, um, have a really small channel or like have really just gotten the basics done. Obviously those people who haven't started, that's still a focus. And I feel like those people will absolutely benefit from the content on my channel. But really my target audience is those people who already have their channel sort of set up and ready to go and want to start propelling it forward. So when you're putting together your channel trailer, consider things like your target audience. Who are you actually targeting? For me, it's small YouTubers or new YouTubers. The goals of your target audience so how are you actually going to help them with your content? What are you doing to better their lives? And of course, integrate a very strong call to action, which should be to subscribe to your channel. That should be the only real thing that you're trying to get people to do from your channel trailer. Anything more will confuse people and it'll stop them from taking action. The next part of spring cleaning is to tidy your default description. So I know my default description, it needed a good tidy up. I clarified what my purpose was at the bottom of my description. I switched up my sections just a little bit, just made it look a little bit more in line with my branding, a little cleaner and easier for me to work with. After that, you wanna refresh your playlist. And I feel like this is a huge step in spring cleaning your channel. My playlists on channel notes had been stagnant for a few years and they were no longer relevant. They didn't really have my new videos properly in them. They just, they weren't really the sections that represented what my channel was about. When people go onto your YouTube channel, the first thing they see is your banner, which should now be clarified and really reach out to your specific target audience. The next thing that they'll see is they'll scroll down and they'll see your playlist. They'll see the titles of your playlist, the little descriptions and the videos underneath those. You want to make sure that all of your playlists are supporting your ideal subscribers goals. So on my channel, I want them to scroll down and be like, yeah, I really want to make bingeable videos as opposed to my start here section, which was cool, but just didn't quite get at what I wanted to. When you're creating your playlist, create playlists with names that are really enticing. So think things that you would name an actual video. That's how you want to name your playlists as well. Try to put your popular, really engaging content first and then filter down to maybe slightly less engaging but still popular videos. As I mentioned, one of my goals is to help you guys create a bingeable YouTube channel. Bingeable means watching a bunch of videos in a row. A bunch of videos in a row is a playlist. So you want to put all the stuff that people would binge watch in those playlists. Next up, update your channel icon. So that's that little photo of your face that sits like in the corner, I think, of your YouTube channel. I think often we leave these for like years, we just don't even think about them. But if it's time for a refresh, maybe you've grown a few years older, maybe you've changed your hair color, 
change your photo on your icon. Make sure that your photo also matches the photo that you have on social media so that everything is all interlinked. And last but not least, and last but not least, update your channel's about page. I looked on channel notes about page. I don't have anything on there. This is a channel that teaches people to do YouTube and I have nothing on my about page. That is shocking. The about page is just another opportunity for you to tell YouTube what your YouTube channel is about. So chuck in those keywords, make sure you're really clear about what your offerings are and write out a little comprehensive overview of what your channel does. So those are some steps that you can take to spring clean your YouTube channel. If your channel is anything like mine, it's probably in need of it. Don't forget to check out the link to film Mora's competition in the description down below. I appreciate you guys so very much. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. If you liked this video, you might like a video about 25 tips for new YouTubers. I will put it on the page around me and I'll also link it in the description below. Don't forget to check out the link for the film Mora giveaway in the description below as well and film your short one minute video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys so very much and I will see you soon.